Let's get to advanced micro devices. Those shares are rising after the company reported results for its second quarter and came out with a forecast that is being read positively as well, up about 3% here. Second quarter adjusted earnings per share beating by a penny at 69 cents. Revenue at $5.8 billion, also beating estimates. And the company now says for the third quarter, its revenue should be 6.4 to $7 billion. The estimate was 6.6 billion dollars there. Uh, the company says also for the third quarter, its adjusted gross margin will be 53 and a half percent, which is a little bit lower than estimates. But people looking on the bright side here um, in the statement, they talked about the AI business continuing to accelerate and that they're well positioned to deliver strong revenue growth in the second half of the year, led by demand for some of their processors here. So all of this uh, lending to some of the gains that we're seeing in the after hours. Yeah, just seeing some comments here by CEO Lisa Su, who says they delivered strong revenue and earnings growth in the second quarter, driven by record data center segment mm. revenue. Uh, says their AI business continued accelerating, uh, well positioned, she says, to deliver strong revenue growth in the second half. The rapid advances in generative AI, she goes on to say, are driving demand for more compute in every market, creating significant growth opportunities as we deliver AI solutions across our business. Yeah. Yeah, and to your point there, overall revenue was up uh, almost 9%. Data center revenue at $2.83 billion. Um, that's a more than doubling year over year. The estimate there, $2.75 billion. And just like Intelligent Cloud was the most mm -hmm. important thing for Microsoft, data center was the most important thing to watch for AMD. And in this case, they delivered. So it looks like that is what um, investors are likely zeroing in on here. Yeah, and the call, lots of questions. I mean, more obviously color and commentary the street's going to be looking for on, on what uh, what Dr. Sue has to say about AI chip revenue. Also, though, um, the overall PC market, how she sees that evolving. Uh, as her own Dan Halley's pointed out, the, the boom during the pandemic, then the slowdown now, signs that it's, it's, it's on the rebound. And uh, gaming as well, what she sees there. Um, you know, it'll be very interesting tomorrow, kind of which take tech narrative takes hold. Obviously, Microsoft is bigger than AMD. And so even though AMD shares may hold up, are we going to see an infection to the rest of the tech, tech space mm. from Microsoft? One other headline I want to mention here that, again, our Dan Howley flagged as an indicator for Microsoft. The company saying AI services contributed eight points to Azure revenue growth. Now, that's been moving up incrementally. Yep. I believe he said it was seven yep. last time around, had moved up from he six. Did. So it's sort of inching up there. Is that fast enough for, mm -hmm. you know, what investors want? Who knows? Um, but it looks like that the, the company, you know, is, is emphasizing that part of, of the business. Yeah, again, listen, all eyes are on the call for Microsoft because we don't have a forecast yet. And so there's even more attention paid to what CFO Amy Hood has to say about, about the quarters ahead. What's interesting now, you've had two of the three cloud giants report. So we had Google uh, report and disappointed, and now Microsoft reported and underwhelmed, at least initially. So now we wait for the third one, Amazon, see what they have to say. Yeah, and not to mention, we got to wait for Apple, too. Yep. You know, I mean, and all, even it, though it's on a cloud giant, obviously, what it's going to say about AI for and sure. going forward. Um, you know, They're going to try so hard on that call, Julie, to get anything from Tim Cook and Luca Maestri. Is the whole focus, obviously, on the call? Be they're going to try to get some color about the the next iPhone, which you would expect uh, Mr. Cook to take the stage in September and unveil. And of course, you're right; the bulls were pinning a lot of hope on. Well, it's an, an AI-enabled AI iPhone, and it's going to drive this this big upgrade cycle. We'll, we'll see what we can get out of, out of Apple on the conference call. And by the way, just checking on shares of those companies, Amazon is down almost 3% yep. in after hours trading, yep. most likely because of what we heard from Mac Microsoft. And Apple is down a little bit, just about a half a percent. So when I talk about what's going to be the bigger ripple effect, NVIDIA is the only one that's up, but it was down 6% in the regular session today. So should be an interesting day tomorrow.